Wednesdays, one of our favorite days, because our friend Bag Milk from Oilers Nation pops in and we uh, chat about whatever the hell we want to chat about. Here I am. Vegas bingo with the locker room. Yes. We're going in November. You can actually uh, win a trip. We just qualified Aaron. And you can actually buy in on the trip Mm -hmm. through New West. Going to see Metallica. Yes. In Vegas. Whereabouts? Where are they playing? They're playing at the uh, the arena. The arena there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be so good. The Golden Knights arena. They're the best. Yeah. They're getting older, but they still smash. They played a show in Saskatoon last week. It was the biggest crowd ever in the arena. Awesome. They smashed Garth Brooks' record. Really? Whoa, yeah. take that, Garth. Where's yeah. your banner? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, and you know what? I've seen them through the years, and every time I'm like, what? this is such a good rock show. They're so, they're so good. Yeah. Yes. I saw them in the round a few years ago when they did Rexall Place. Yeah, that's the best. That's so cool. So good. They had, they had like a couple of shows here too. Yeah. Uh, local boys opened up for them. Remember that? They like, they did a local band contest. Oh, oh that's right. It. And then that's Striker right. got to go out Striker. there. Striker. Striker! <laughs> I love those guys. Um, anyway, we've been putting together these, um, th- these things that we want to accomplish in Vegas. And we thought we'd get you to weigh in, Bag Milk. Sure. Um, it's, it's like a bingo card. So everybody will get one and then they just sort of got to tick these things off while they're down there. Yeah. For cash and prizes. Yeah. Any thoughts? I thought it might be interesting, like, because it's Vegas. Yeah. You know, things like, Go down to Fremont Street, get a picture with a naked person. Oh, naked person. <laughs> That's they're they're wandering one, yeah. everywhere. Jimmy Walker. Mark that Mark down. that one down. <laughs> How about a locker room tattoo? <laughs> oh! oh! Did, we, the tattoo came up, but we, the so locker room we, tattoo didn't come up. Yeah, we put, we put like the Mike Tyson tattoo, but nobody <laughs> suggested <laughs> a locker harsh. room tattoo. <laughs> if you walk, if you come home from that trip with a locker room tattoo, I think you're doing pretty well. That's a good trip to Vegas. <laughs> Grant <laughs> wants to put a uh, party with uh, Mike Tyson yeah. on it, which oh, is solid. If you can, if you can swing that one. How yeah. about party with anyone that has a, a show there? Yeah, like, like Carrot Top. Siegfried and Roy. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Carrot Top would be awesome. Yeah, I bet no. Carrot Top parties. <laughs> he's kind of scary. Oh, man. he's super scary. <laughs> I, I wonder, wonder if Busk he does for drive. five bucks. <laughs> Busk? I, I'm taking my harmonicas with me, guys. Oh, good. I'll make us a little extra change down there if we go broke from gambling. <laughs> okay. Um, how? Uh, what? Where's your Oilers erection at right now? Oh, I'm at full mast. <laughs> Diamond heart. <laughs> you went six to midnight? <laughs> That's right. Diamond heart. <laughs> If I thought about it any harder, I'd poke a hole clear through my trousers. <laughs> is that because you're excited for the season or because you think the team is going to be so good? I Both. You both. know what I mean? I'm in full Kool-Aid mode right now. We're at the time <laughs> yeah. of the season. The Oilers are 2-0 and in the preseason. Yeah. McDavid hasn't even played yet. Yeah. Diamond hard. So uh, that's a good question because I did hear that McDavid and Dreisaitl may dress and Nuge may dress for Thursday's game, tomorrow's game. Um, against the Jets preseason number three, is that is that a done to deal? That's that's I kind of assume so. The guys have to get in at some point. Who yeah. knows how much of the sixty minutes they'll play? Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah you might play um, first period even. Or, yeah, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, the boys are supposed to be on the ice tomorrow, so looking forward to that. What do you think of this kid, Ty Ratty? He's looking pretty good. Ty Ratty, so far, yeah, he looked good. He had a couple of goals last night. Yeah, uh, he's probably going to start the year with Nuge and McDavid. So okay. he's got a big opportunity. If you take him at his word, he's super excited for the chance, and he wants to make the most of it, because he's been one of those guys who he had a great junior career, yeah. scored a ton of points, and could never stick in the NHL so far. Yeah. So he's got a yeah. great chance. If he can make it work with those two, he can make a lot of money and stick in the NHL. Do you think uh, Yamamoto is going to make the team? He's looked pretty good. He looked good the other night, too. Yeah. So, he was on with that with Ty Ratty. They had him on with a... Beacon Kid or what? 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 I don't know all of the names yet. But <laughs> that line looked good. That li- that looked like a line I would keep to get, or I would try. I mean, obviously, it's tough to say too because right now they're playing plugs from every other team. Yeah, that's right. Most of the time, it's not the NHLers that are playing at this point, so it's hard to say. Can Yamamoto make it? I mean, I counted him out last year and he played nine games, so yeah. I would say sure he can. Of course. Why not? Okay. All right. Grant, you got anything else? Uh, well, last time we talked, Darnell Nurse didn't have a contract. Now he does. $3.2 million, right? Out of sign, Daryl. Yeah, you you pretty happy with that? I, I think, think it's fair. A, that's a fair deal. I hey? think it's pretty fair based on his comparables and kind of, you know, the proximity to the season. Let's just get him signed, get going. Yeah, it would, been a, it would have been a big hole if they couldn't get him signed. And- yeah, and you don't want the guy to miss training camp in preseason because that just puts him back, so... Glad he's back in the city. Glad he's got a name on a contract. Let's go. We'll yeah. wrap this up with, um, speaking of boners, just avoid Leaf fans. 
Oh, yeah. Tavares scored two goals Oh, did you guys night. see that? Did you see that he scored <laughs> I, in the preseason against a guy got, who will never play in the NHL? Did you see it? I think I got push notifications to my phone from TSN. <laughs> it is shocking. <laughs> we, we were like, it's so calm down. This morning we were like, hold on, just pump the brakes. It was the Sens. <laughs> Every dude in Toronto is walking around with a towel rack. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> there he is, Beg Milken uh, from Oilers Nation. Thanks for the visit, my friend. Thank you.